late D cells. And late D cells are important. There are um, indicators of fetal hypoxia, and we need to really understand what's going on with late D cells. Um, and we won't forget how all this works, okay? So really, um, we, we say that late D cells are caused by fetal hypoxia. Let's just go ahead and draw what a late D cell looks like. Um, if we got, again, mom's contracting here. In late D cells, the onset of the deceleration is later comes on about halfway through mom's contraction. So it doesn't start when mom's contraction does, and it doesn't end when mom's contraction does. But you can still see that there's a the two tend to match up, okay? So we're talking about late D cells and being caused by fetal hypoxia, or this is actually a good time to talk about the, the utero placental insufficiency. It sort of helps here. When the uterus contracts, what's happening is um, there is decreased oxygen flow to the fetus, right? And the reason this happens is very similar to why uh, the heart fills in diastole instead of st systole. You've got this giant muscle contraction, and the, the uterine contractile force is greater than the arterial force, the force of the placental artery. So those arteries collapse. And, of course, the veins also, the umbilical veins collapse. And so you don't, get, um, you don't get venous return from the fetus, and you don't get any new blood in. So the oxygen tension in the fetus uh, decreases. This then causes an alpha adrenergic response. And we know that alpha um, adrenergic responses increase our blood pressure, right? We have alpha receptors, peripheral alpha receptors that increase our blood pressure. All right, when that happens, we then get a baroreceptor response. And baroreceptors decrease the activity of the SA node, right? So, and that means we get a decreased fetal heart rate, right? Because this is, this is our parasympathetic response here. Right. Okay. Um, you can also sort of skip a lot of these effects as D, as fetal O2 decreases over time. Um, you develop. Let's see if I can sort of give you a visual um, he, here. You get myocardial dysfunction, and so the myocardium now is not working like it uh, like it should because it's not getting all the oxygen it should um, and that leads to a decrease in fetal heart rate it's a myocardial depression um, but again it, I think if you follow um, mom's tracing we know that because this is basically a um, uh, an adrenergic you know the adrenergic response here is probably what's taking the longest that's why the delay the, there's this delay in onset of the fetal bradycardia, this fetal, this D cell, as compared to mom's contraction. So mom, we'll just talk through it here. Mom contracts. Uh, she contracts, and there's no blood going into or out of the placenta at that time. So mom contracts. Fetal oxygen decreases. When that happens, the fetal uh, the fetus develops an alpha adrenergic response that causes an increase in blood pressure and that causes activation of the baroreceptors, a parasympathetic response, and decrease in the fetal heart rate, which is what we're seeing here. Um, and that, that matches this uh, peak contraction, but it's not a one-to-one -one match because this is a slower process. It's a slower process, okay? Um, then as the contraction goes away, fetal oxygen tension tends to go up. The alpha stimulus goes down. Um, the blood pressure then goes back to normal. The baroreceptor response is less frequent, and the fetal heart rate comes back to baseline. Okay, so that's late D cells. It's worth taking some time thinking about this physiology 
um, instead of just memorizing that late D cells are associated with fetal hypoxia. You know, just knowing these things will get you through the exams. If you know that early's are head compression, late's are uteroplacental insufficiency, and variables are cord compression, those things will get you the right answers on the test. This will help you understand and really know what you're working with. So in the next section, let's talk about the third type of D-cell, and that will be variable D-cells.